simply for Zeke. Um, Ling has played Peanut countless times, and I know it's one of those things to say, hey, just because you played one doesn't mean you know how to play against the other, but when you want to compare like the experience that he has in this matchup specifically versus a top rep, it's it's gonna look, you know, it, it's not gonna be. Easy. If there was ever a day where I thought that Z could possibly get at least a set on Ling, though, today would be the day. Uh, now, will that happen? Who knows? Because, like you said, Ling, Ling, as a top rep and also somebody who's fought this many times over, he's not just gonna let Zeke cheese him out. Like th that's just not gonna be a factor. Ze Le Zeke has to outplay him. And so far, it has not looked that way. That's a stock. He's not making this back. No shot. Yeah, he already... Oh! Okay, all right. For a second, I thought he still had a jump. If you use the jump-boosted KO punch, you can get some drift. But the moment he had to burn the counter, it was kind of over. Yeah, the counter didn't even hit. And that's a stitch on the ground. Zeke so not going for it. I think the only reason why he decided not to is because... The throw animation of Mac is not the greatest to lead into anything outside of like a dash attack, and I'm pretty sure Stitch Face dash attack wouldn't be true. So he's like, I just don't want to give it back to Link. Yeah, the other thing being, you know, he's probably more comfortable ledge trapping without it. That's true. That is true. He did have a ledge trap going there, so it's definitely way, way smarter just to keep it. And his ledge trapping has been on point all day. Now this is that stark contrast of type of player that we're seeing, where Big T is someone who's going to throw out a few more hail, uh, hail marys and things of the like. Link, someone who uses their movement a lot to kind of bait you in and out, plays a lot more patient. I wonder if that contrast yep. is gonna mess up Zeke on his initial game plan. Yeah, and I did. That's the, that's the difficult part about fighting Link in general is that your movement will not trump Link's patience. Uh, that's He always plays just around burst ranges to make you press something first. That, however, I was complimenting that earlier. Uh, his, his Haymaker game is absurd. Doesn't matter where he puts it. Like, his ability to land Haymakers is crazy. Now he's, he's even getting a little conversion there, and 20% could have led to a bit more if that hate maker landed, but he's fighting his way out the corner. This yeah. is KO punch percent. He's not out of it yet. This is still very much doable. Uh, that made it a lot more difficult, though. Yeah, that's one of those, is he going to hit it or not? And that's going to kind of decide, most likely decide the game. But he's still... Ooh. Ling, the only person, literally the only person to properly reactive DI that down tilt off of the chase or the up tilt off the chase when they're in that spot. Everybody else has been caught by that all day. Yeah, that was going to be one of those nasty uppies in the fall through. Either way, he's starting to find his footing now. He's using his dash dances to hopefully bait Ling around. Every now and then he's getting these the right hits. Yeah, he's definitely looking better, but Ling is, uh, yeah, there you go. Ling is one of those players who knows that turnip is the win con off stage against people who actively have to do something first to recover. Incineroar, turn up out, make them burn that side B, smack him. Little Mac, he can't haymaker in front of that, so what does he have to do? He has to either jump or counter it, and once you see either, smack him. That's it, it's simplicity is key. I think as Zeke watches this set, something that he should definitely try to take note of, right, is that he also has the option to grab it. That is true. He and, used Nair. And that would have led him to live because at that point, Ling has to guess. Yep. You know, he, he, he has way more going for him at that you point. You know what? That's actually, that's a really good point that you point uh, you bring up too because uh, a big reason why Blitz has gotten so much better against Ling of late, he talked about how he was he just started grabbing turnips. He realized like a majority of the game was t like pace controlled by Ling because he would just respect turnips so much. He started grabbing it and all of a sudden, He's been winning and going way more even with Ling of late. Yeah, I think any character that has an item, if you really want to beat them, the biggest thing you can do is not even necessarily know the combos, but just be able to pick it up at any point. Being able to force them to play around it is, is something that <laughs> see, most of the time they won't do. <laughs> but you see why. That's definitely part of why he didn't pick it up earlier. <laughs> Little Max throw animation for items is abysmal. Uh, but when he did force a jump, though. That I mean, is I true. That is true. It does, it does make you move exactly where you want it. But um, I, have, I mean, obviously the play right here is not to burn that. That, however, does get heavily punished. Utilize that neutral B to get back down. I think Zeke has to understand that Ling tends to play a lot more reactive, and some of these reads have to be with that in mind. Look for that uh, air dodge that he's done a couple times in this scenario, and try to read that instead. That should be it on the top flop form every day of the week. So only 23%. Most uh, most of that first game, up until the end where he started looking better, he was taking a huge amount of damage before he got a stock off. And at this point, it's just 
making sure, I mean, the, the plus part of this stage is the combos that Mac gets, but the neutral, being able to play under with Dare as Peach. I'm actually somewhat surprised too, because even though, you know, Pe Peach and Ling individually both love uh, Battlefield, but this is one of the better stages for Mac. So I'm actually semi surprised that this got left open. Yeah, I mean, at, at this point, you know, at times, Ling's gonna want what he wants because he thinks he can kind of just do it and not worry about it. That's, that's true. Yeah, like, if, for Ling, it's like this stage benefits him so much as well. I like the mix up. That is a really good option by going for the dare there, by the way, because that prevents Mac from burning an armor move and you just hover around it with dare and tur turn up toss down. So you keep yourself safe if he does decide to try to swing out of that. Oh, and just missing out on that KO punch there. I mean, he had the down tilt into it, but. You know, that's one of those things, oh my gosh, if you start getting good with Mac, you gotta be good without it too. Yeah, right now 127% sitting onto Zeke, 63% chilling on Ling. Uh, so even if Ling goes down soon, it's not too bad because any stray back airs and such should take a KO. But Ling just never, he never falls for like the fake stuff and that will lead to game number two. Ling up 2-0 in the count. You saw that smirk he had. What is he? Okay, all right, I got questions, all right? That headset has two sides to it, okay? There's two sides to where that cable sits. Don't, don't, don't ask. And yet, Ling just, Ling just does. He doesn't think about it. He could, he could, he could, without having it tug, he could just have it on the other side. I, I, maybe he's not aware <laughs> of it also. Maybe he just doesn't care. I mean, not, not the most important. I, I do think that Zeke is playing a bit too trigger happy. I, I could agree with that. I think the problem is that everybody else was playing into his trigger happy behavior that now he's run into that extremely defensive wall that he is, he's just not prepared for it right now. Yeah, and the better you get, the more important it is that you're able to just kind of flip that switch. Uh, it's it's paramount. That's that's honestly people, a majority of, playing. yeah, that's, that's a majority of this game. Like, a reason why so many characters that are quote unquote low tier can still win is because people just have incredibly good neutral and good pa like good patient play. Um, you can only get so far though with said low tier if you are constantly swinging because you have weaknesses. You have whiff punishable options, and a character like Peach will abuse them. That being said though, Zeke was cooking straight to 96 prior to finally getting hit. Yeah, and that's that thing right where. That's the difference between the low tier and the top tier is that Ling able to just kind of go for that true combo and it's actually even it up while Zeke making those and several reads and the interaction to wins to be able to And I highly it. respect Zeke going for that. Oh, not one but two. Wrong. He started off the round with that, that stock with 58% done to him. <laughs> that is the immaculate amount of uh, extra percent. No pun intended. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 58, 66. Okay, starting to rack up. Hey, Ling, Ling is Ling is misspacing. Like he's usually really good at kind of getting around those, and Zeke is uh, fully capitalizing on just catching the distance. I love that mix that he, he gave on that recovery there. Ling's been kind of just waiting in front of the press button way too much, and at this point, he's starting to react. You saw that he waited for the land. If that was not smashed, that would have been it. But. Ooh, perfect tech up and dodge back into the stage too. But he's gonna get back on first shovels back here. Uh, oh, smart, 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 smart. I think Ling was trying to bait a counter out of him because that's the most obvious play there. He did it though, and he gets a stock, and he's one. Good sequence away from getting to a, this to a game four. Yeah, and this this is right here. This is percent. This is where dreams are made up. This is gonna happen. Oh, no. uh, down, yeah, down there <laughs> comes away, takes that dream away. That also caught his jump, so he's gonna just die to that. The second one wasn't even necessary, but yeah, now that, that's just a sort of habit thing, right? Him recovering. Little Max going for that dare to extend that recovery, and I really feel like he's gonna have to wait and just watch the turnip. Well, I mean, he's got dot ice jab one. Try to catch a roll in. Uh, up, He's still looking good here. Gets the throw, down throw, going for the platform mix-up. No, instead he tried to go for the jab lock. I like the idea of it. Actually, no, that was Nair. So he would have gone for Nair up B in that situation, not the jab lock. And with just this one conversion link, almost brings it back to even, but this is looking I, close. I'm seeing Zeke with this dub right here. Bro, his instant turnaround game is crazy, but Ling just walking up to him. Oh, he misses the fair, so he's still in it. That's yeah. going to get him to game number four as Zeke keeps the run alive, and he does not go down just yet. And you can, you can tell, from, from especially just getting down with that fast fall air dodge, tripping up Ling because he hasn't been really doing it as much this set. I'll tell you, Ling would have won that game if he just turned the headset around. <laughs> <laughs> this cable is driving me crazy. If, if, if it gets reset, maybe you could tell him. <laughs> no, if it gets reset, he's going to be so mad he ain't going to let me talk to him, bro. <laughs> All right, well, uh, kudos again to Zeke, who A, is here in top two. 
uh, after not only beating Blitz, but beating Zoo after losing to him earlier. And then, uh, wait, did he lose to him earlier? Yes, he did. And then uh, here, again, he's fighting up against Ling, and he got the game on the board, so he's not looking bad. And at this point, we're going to go to town. And this stage can be a nightmare, can be a dream come true once those flats get out the way. But you know Ling, especially because he lost, He's petty. I don't yep. know if y'all know Link. Link can be petty. And this is one of those times where he's like, yep, Any I'm going to camp you. Anybody who has ever uh, been around Link for an extended period of time knows that he will do stuff out of spite afterwards <laughs> every time. And uh, so far, um, now that the FT variant has come out, you said it before, like this could be a dream come true state. Dude, you did not just do that. That <laughs> I, I wish for his sake that would have killed. That was in, in, You don't ever see Little Mac go all the way up there for like an up be like that. The good thing too, right, is it's gonna make Link second guess some of these approaches, and maybe that greediness is gonna come into effect, where Zeke's gonna start punishing him. And there he goes with another bait, not getting punished, but this is one of those pivotal moments. He's gonna have to be able to do something. Ooh, catches him slipping off the platform. Like, that is one of the most difficult positions for Mac to get away from, to be honest. Like, he only has so much mobility to get off that platform, and uh, Ling was looking for a zero to death. Uh, he wanted it, and, and he... <laughs> You got to be careful with this. I feel like he's playing a little bit too aggressive going for these for these offstage gambits. Like, you, you just need to control stage. <laughs> I think he's playing too much at ledge. There are times where he just has not been resetting neutral when when he's the one potentially being ledge trapped. And because of that, you know, we're getting into this where he's not going to come back either way. Yeah, tried to go for a lot. I think he wanted the ledge snap off that side B when he jumped off, but he over he he slightly missed it. Of course, those frame one jabs, you can't really do much about that. I mean, that one of the few one of the few characters that can outbox Peach, funny enough, because Peach is frame two jab. So Yeah, I, I, at this point, he really wants this stock here, but he's gonna have to play patient. I really I like the F tilt, waiting for a bit on the mix-up, but Ling knows he just has a shield. The grab's not gonna take Ling that far away. Ling just needs to uh, if Zeke can get the KO. Oh, he fell out. So yeah, and I'm, whether it was SDI or however it may be. Lang, oh, missing his own conversion and, and Zeke, I mean, he he has to play pretty much perfect for this. And, and Ling knows this. You see yep. that stall? That's just, he wants that patient to run out. Of course, the little Mac factor does exist because, like you say, he does have to play perfect and he's for, he's forcing him to approach him. Like we said before, this is the win con. There is no reason to go up there. There's no reason to go down to center stage right now. He has to approach you. He has to do something about you being on those platforms. So that time frame that that platform exists there, that belongs to that belongs to him. And Zeke just tried to meet him for it, and he might die for it. No, the counter comes through, and KO punches on deck. So this is not completely over yet. Yeah, platform should be leaving anytime soon. And yeah, this, he's got a few oh. seconds. You don't need a gold there, bro. <laughs> he, he's he's trying to he's trying to scare Ling into an air dodge. Now platform is gone. So now this is the difficult position for Ling. You don't have invin invincibility at the ledge, so. Oh, he did. He's on that flat. And he gets rid of the jump here. At, at this point, he just has to kind of let him get cornered. But Link just wants to stay at ledge. He really doesn't mind. He just did it, bro. He literally just did it. There, it, I was going to say, there's a timeline where, where Zeke brings us back by keeping KO punch for that last knock, but he doesn't even need it. And now turn up is tossed out. Does grab it. However, he had to burn his uh, air dodge for it. That's the haymaker, and that's going to be Ling solidifying his dub here today. But still, well done to Zeke. Yeah, that was, that Honestly, was well run. done to Zeke. Like, if, if you saw the way he was playing today compared to the last time he's been here, it's phenomenal. Yeah. That, no, that, he, the practice he, has really been showing. Oh, yeah, this is the time of day, actually, where I come over here and I start chatting over here because that's one of the few times where I can step up and not be a ghost. Hey, so, still, uh, good, again, like you said, compared to the previous weeks we've been watching out of him, he has been, it's been inconsistent, but it's also, it's like max, so you can only do so much, but he's been consistent with this character regardless. So, um, second place against Mega Man in a bad matchup, he's someone who he loses to all the time, but Number I know it's still. our state. Yeah. Not, it, not just regular Mega Man. That's like yeah, the Mega of Mega Man. Yeah, like in Blitz Luigi has been so good that like taking him out of not top two is like kind of nuts. And then Big T is on a tear, beating Zoo after losing to him last week. And Blitz. So, I mean, yeah. I know they're playing partners, but still, like, you know, he's able to hold that down. And, and he was doing good versus Ling for the most part. I know he's taking sets off of Ling. We yeah. know Big T's able to kind of do these things when he steps up and he's given the opportunity. 
Love to see it. Love to see it from all the parties involved. And uh, that'll be the end of us for tonight uh, because that is our last match. So thank you for everybody who tuned in. Thank you for joining me so I wasn't here by myself uh, because uh, everybody who joins on comps is usually playing or doing something, so I can only do so much. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. We have a good time. Of course, you can register next week. Make sure you keep an eye out for that. Pre-registration equals more people showing up. It this does. has been proven. We've had multiple weeks in a row of like, at least 10 people pre reg and we got up to like 20 plus. So keep pre-registering because then we'll get back to 30 plus. Stop waiting for other people to register first. Pre-reg. And also come back. Winter is a, a slow That's true. It is, it is winter. You know, spring coming around. Summer coming around. We're going to start and seeing it snowball. And it is also kind of major season again. Like, mm -hmm. we have a lot coming up. Like, all jokes aside, you know, I'm just glad when people do come through. I appreciate everybody who does tune in, even if you can't make it. But we got Collision around the corner. We got GamerCon around the corner. We got um, the Dream Hacks are coming up. Uh, all the Dream Hacks have, like, 5K pop bonuses. Don't don't sleep on the Dream Hacks. Yeah, even, uh, even Link's going to... Um, I Winter Winter Clash, I, I forget. Not Winter Clash, but uh, it's first attack the Puerto Rico tournament. Right, Regional, I, I know what you, I know what you talk about. Yeah, yeah. um, uh, but yeah, there's first attack and everything that'll come later. Uh, we're getting into like the hot seat of stuff, so get your games in, get your prep, and get out there. So, uh, wake up, get up, get out there. Right, that's how that goes. Yeah, yeah, that, that's how Joker. it goes here. Yeah, that's how it goes here. So, anyways, that's it for tonight. Thank you, of course, for hopping on. Thank you for yeah, the pizza please. as well. I'm gonna eat because I haven't eaten in hours. Y'all take care, yep, and we're going to go ahead and get the raid uh, situated, and that's pretty much it. Also, wait, 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 before I go, I always got to do this. Uh, thank you so much to VG Bootcamp for letting us uh, host on their stream. Uh, anything I could do to possibly get your guys' names out there uh, further uh, is, is what I care about. I don't get paid for any of this, by the way. Uh, I know somebody was thinking that I got a bunch of money off of this. 